last of the classics. And to be honest, I think Dodge is just grab if sorry, they're not called Dodge anymore. Ram. Grab a bunch of random parts from a bunch of cars that I'll show you. And they made up this like monster thing. What's pretty cool though. This uh, Warlock comes with a choice of a 305 horsepower 3.6 or the one I'm showing 395 horsepower with a 5.7 V8. 8 speed automatic and 4 wheel drive are included in the Warlock package. Here we have the Warlock. The Warlock. It's not clean. It's not supposed to be clean. So what do we have here? Let's take a look. It is a 5.7 Hemi. It's from the Ram 1500 Classic. Uh, 2019 is the last year that they made the classics 28 inch rims and this is where it changes a lot from the Rebel same engine as the Rebel same face as the Rebel the black underneath is different on this one and the tires these are 20 inch tires these tires are crap they are total crap unless you're keeping it on road these are on road tires crap if you're going to be going off-road power folding mirrors I will show you in a little bit this is straight from Ram it was an extra 1500 bucks for this <clears throat> but as you can see it's OEM equipment Mopar equipment they um, they blacked out the whole car so the logos are blacked out the 4x4 is blacked out even the warlock is blacked out which i'm not a big fan you can either get one that says warlock or you can get one that says 4x4 now what's great about these cars is that the bumper well you can't really tell by doing that but it's metal bumper front and back Let me show you the front one model metal bumpers LED lights on the bottom the front on the top I'm gonna show you in a second you have to upgrade that to LED and it's quite the process it's not just plug and play you have to have to remove a bunch of stuff like the grill but it's totally worth it everything else like the marker lines and the signals are LEDs 5.7 liters Hemi you can also get it in a six cylinder I don't know why you would this one has the sports um, hood package which has these little thingies that do absolutely nothing as they are fake this has a short bed Crew cab. It's raining. You can get power sliding window on the back. That's an extra like 350 bucks or so. You can get window defoggers. That's another 350, which I did not get. The cab gets hot really quickly and defogs everything. Let's take a look at the interior, which is a mess because I actually use this car for work. This was extra. Uh, it came through cat skin. You cannot get it from the dealer. Oh, as you can tell, it's Christmas. Let me show you inside in a little bit. I'll show you the back though. Nice and roomy back. Has all the drones and stuff. 
This one has the upgraded sound system with the subwoofer. What I really dislike versus the Fords, I'll show you in a second. If you want to, if you want to make this flat, has this crappy little thing. So it's not a flat one. The Fords are completely flat, which is way better. And now you're flat. Uh, I'm not convinced with this. It's kind of flimsy. Don't like it. Has a little bit of storage back here. And a bit of storage under that seat. It's not a lot. Because of the upgraded sound system, you lose this storage here. Really cool. There has a hidden little storage here. Now let me clean the camera again. Little storage here. It's a little... It's enough to put like your cleaning supplies or your treasures or whatever you want to put in there nine sound system nine speaker sound system with the subwoofer these are nice tow hooks if you get stuck which with these tires you probably will because they suck let me show you inside here All right, let's take a look at this. So my key, it is not a touch star. It is one of these guys. It does have remote start, but you have to put in the key if you want to start the actual car. The cluster is nice. It says Ram 1500. On the other one, if you have the Rebel, it would have said Rebel up there. Let me show you the cluster. Let me clean my camera as well. There we go. So there's a cluster. Has a lot of information that you need to know. So on this car, I am getting an average of 16 liters per 100 kilometers. I don't know what that is in miles per gallon. I can find out for you. Uh, this car also came with the trailer control, which is a nice feature to have if you're towing heavy trailers. And the controls are over here. The gain and all that is here. This car has the satellite radio. It has this map thing, which I totally do not recommend as it's not very good. And it, you need to upgrade it every so often because it's not internet map. You might as well just use Waze. This car comes with Apple CarPlay. So there is your Waze, your Google Maps, your Apple Maps. It also has uh, Android audio. There's a backup camera, which most of the time is uh, dirty anyways in the winter. It's great for the summer. In case of an emergency, you have this assistance thing, which takes forever, but I guess eventually someone comes and helps you if you click SOS. A lot of people complain. It's like a hate love relationship with this thing. Uh, it saves a lot of space, they claim. You get used to it, I don't mind it. Some people hate it. It has the four wheel drive, low two wheel drive. Uh, you can also get a, an option of um, lock in differentials. I did not get that option. I got the regular single climate control, dual climate control is nice to have, but in reality it doesn't really work. Garage opener for up to three garages if you do have that. It has um, to turn on the bed light and it also has fog. Uh, the fog lights do come LED, the top ones are halogen. Like I mentioned before, I upgraded the Alpine sound system with the satellite radio and the stupid GPS that was given to me. I would never buy this GPS. It's like a $1,700 option. Totally not worth it. 
I love that it has the two covered um, glove compartments. That's handy. Uh, it came with lock, wheel locks. I don't know who would steal wheels, but I guess that's a thing. The mirrors, like I said, they're powered and they're also heated. So I have the heated mirrors. That's why I have a little thing here because I don't have heated windows, but I guess that's for my mirrors. Lots of space. So one big thing that I did was I did not get, don't mind my mess. I did not get the center console. Instead, I got the option for the six seat. So someone can sit here if it's absolutely necessary. It's really uncomfortable. But in case of an emergency, it works great. Uh, good thing I looked back because I almost forgot my drone outside and it's now raining. So I I'm gonna go on. Can you go grab the drone please? And I'll help you. I almost forgot it. So like I was mentioning before, my mess move stuff around you have a little compartment here now oh, fleece so the car smells good love the flea smell fleecy or whatever so you can fold this there's a little compartment there if you want to carry other stuff give me a drone on this side please we're gonna put it on this side yeah it's a filter for one of the for the bobcat all right let's put it over here, good thing I looked back because I had forgotten about my drone. Here, oh, careful with that, careful with that, excuse me. So it's perfect, fits the drone. Give me a second, sorry. That would have sucked if I started driving without it. Again, on this side, it also has the little compartment, which you can actually see here. Now, the dealership told me I can use regular gas, but on the actual website, they tell you that you're not allowed to use regular gas, that you could use regular gas, but it is recommended to use mid-grade. I have never in my life seen mid-grade gas. What the hell is that? Alrighty, we're gonna drive and you can take a look at how the car looks while it's driving. I totally recommend those mats, they are great. So today we are going to show you what uh, the Dodge Ram 1500 Warlock really is. I don't know. Why are you filming? Dodge Ram 1500 Warlock. <laughs> 